world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. This knife is a pickled steel knife and inside the box we get, as usual, extra pocket clip, extra hardware, little tool, uh, T8-T6 and then we also get a little cleaning cloth and it's got a little foam bed where it rests on its way to you. Okay. So this knife is called the Wendell. Sorry, I did not actually tidy up or anything before I started. Um, it's Saturday. Um, yes, we're going to buy things. I'm going to show you that because it's Saturday and we have time. Um, okay, I decided on the yellow Wendell which in hindsight might not have been the best choice because it does get dirty easily. Okay, and that's my fault because I'm a dirty, dirty person. Um, but it cleans very easily. If you just wipe it with a moist towel or something, it cleans it up right quick. Okay, I should have done that before the actual review, but I did not think about that. Okay, we have a pocket clip. It's not a deep carry pocket clip. We have, now I cannot remember, give me a second. We have a T6 pivot. Okay, that's interesting. T6 pivot, T6 at the bottom also. So, that's interesting. We have a flipper tab. It flippers out like a machine. Okay, now this looks like an exec knife, but the size is way bigger than an exec knife. Okay, then access to the liner is not fantastic, but it's not impossible. Well, it's not crazy. You just have to shove your finger in there and um, at one stage I did it with my nails. You just put your nail in there. The, Gap is big enough that you can do it either way. Lockup on this thing is quite nice. This is more than 50%. This is maybe 60% lockup. So the lockup on this thing is rock solid. Nothing's moving. Nothing's going anywhere. Okay. Now I just called this a exact, a exec, executive looking knife, but it's not really. This thing is way too big for that. Let's quickly do specs first. Okay, in centimeters, this thing is nine and a half centimeters. Yeah, nine and a half centimeters. Overall, it's 21 and something. 21 centimeters, almost 21 and a half centimeters. And then inches, this is 3.6, three and three quarters, maybe uh, eight and a quarter, maybe a bit more. Yeah, no, definitely a bit more. Okay, and then blade stock on this guy is 2.9 millimeters which is like three mil and that is 0.11 okay now it's a saberite grind a flat ground blade on this guy okay straight back wonderful exact looking thing but that means it's quite fat behind the edge okay so it's not a slicey knife this is a stabby knife okay um the tip actually look at the tip it's not a very fine tip. It's quite a fat tip. So it means it's got lots of strength behind it. Now, I don't know if this might be the knife for angry execs or people that work with execs and want to quickly change the status quo in the company. I don't know. But this thing has got a big handle. Look at that. We have parts sticking out, all four fingers. Big handle, it does have jumping, awesome jumping, okay, very grab me in there jumping, and then it's got nice texture G10. Uh, let's see if we can see that. Do you see there's little mold patterns in there, like little lines, and so that's very nice. Okay, on the blade, we have pickled steel, then we have that kind of a stone wash over there in the flats, so we can see the grind lines, beautiful. On the other side, we see D2 Wendell. Okay, there's scratches all over mine, if you look at that, if you can see that. Because I have been using this thing as an EDC knife. Now, like I said, it's not a great slicer, but you can do all your EDC tasks with this knife. 
I cannot remember the price, but it will be linked in the description as always. Well, I will link Pickled Steel, then you can go there and check out all their things as always. But I quite like this knife. Okay, um, I'm not going to do the whole comparison with all the other ones today. Ow. Ow. Sorry, that's me. Check out the video on this guy. I did it yesterday. This thing is fantastic. Sizes do not compare. Okay, so um, go check out the video on this guy. This thing is fantastic. I love this little guy. Okay, um, no, we're going to compare things at a later stage, not right now. But if you are in the market for um, an executive knife that... Is way more hard to use than a normal executive knife. Then this is your thing. Okay. I love this knife. Awesome knife. Let's quickly compare it to a big knife. Let's compare it to a red one. Can you see that? It's exactly the same size as a red one. That's a huge exec knife. Okay. So Wendell, you go boy. Okay. I am going to buy things now. Um, the nice thing about the yellow, if you do not like it, um, it's an easy color to dye into anything else you want. Okay, so there's that. Um, we did say it's D2. We said I love it. Look at the thick liners on this thing. This is a robust knife. Centering is perfect. I really like this guy. Okay, there we go. Let's pry. Extremely wet wood over here, but I chunked a lot of... Uh, fire lighters in the top and whatnot and then I have yeah so I split big chunks of wet wood into smaller chunks of wet wood and I'm gonna light my wet wood okay so let's hope with enough time and enough fire lighters we can actually get this stuff to burn and yes so we'll see if we actually have a fire. Okay, I'm not sure if anything except for the fire lighters are burning, but the wood should eventually dry out. Um, yes. I've chucked on all the wood I wanted to. I'm just gonna turn them around and wait for some coals because we're prying in the fire pit today. Okay, this is hours later. We had load shedding and I was watching creature features. So I kind of forgot about the fire. Um, now it's still hot enough, but I added a few coals. Yes, we'll bry in a little bit. We're only doing Vorsbrot again. And for our Vorsbrotjes, or hot dogs today, we'll do Kameeloutboerenvorst and Bokvorst from Van Weingart. Okay, so I put a triangle on the fire. That's the triangle you see at the bottom, and then... This is actually the top of a different braai, but this is normally how I braai on the fire pit if I actually want to braai something. Okay, I'm using my spoilator. This thing is fantastic. The best carbon fiber I have felt on a knife in years. This is the pickled seal spoilator anyway, so I use that to free these guys from their package. But I want to show you a different trick that I saw on another guy's Instagram thing to open those. Okay. So, apparently, if you take this thing like that, and you pinch it there, and you do that, it will open. Apparently, I cannot do that, because apparently, my thing is not sharp enough. So, then, of course, we will use the spoilator to quickly open these guys. So, there we go. Our vorses, vors, yeah, I think it's plural plural already um, is on fire hey first in my bokworst is looking fantastic and the worst is also getting on nicely okay these guys look pretty done so i'm gonna take them off and then i'm gonna hope that my wife actually makes me a hot dog okay so we have a buttered bread a sausage then we take some of this stuff and then there's peri peri sauce not a lot but enough add it over there and then we take some of this awesomeness be well garlic nase which is like a stiff garlic mayonnaise 
lots of that and oh my sweet goodness that's that all of you stay safe happy have a good one goodbye if you made it till the end of this video you are fantastic you must have a wonderful day and it's saturday so enjoy um we'll do something again tomorrow actually tomorrow we have a nice cool one okay stay safe happy have a good one goodbye